Buenos Aires, amigos, amigas. It's about 1.15 p.m. I'm over here, right here. Here's the American Legion, Post 7. Uh, shown it in many, many videos. And look at this handicapped, accessible walkways. Beautiful. We're coming up on Parque de Cristiana. We'll go this way today. Now I do a lot of walking since I came to Mexico five years ago, the first time. I've done a lot of walking. Now that is actually the best way uh, to embrace these uh, communities, no matter where you're going, Mexico. Uh, walk. If you're in a car, you're just just scratching the surface, barely. But one way to get to know about the Mexican culture and community is to walk around and go to events and participate. The more you do that, uh, the more you'll be um, acclimated into the culture. Okay? Now, it is the people are very, very friendly everywhere I've ever went in Mexico. Now, we're coming up on the Malacan. Now, I can't drive on the Malacan, of course. But I'm here near the Chapala Mail Account. It is busy, and it's even busier on Sundays. Okay, right there is Lake Chapala, and it's all around here. Okay, let me show you, go this way and show you. There's a lot of restaurants, bars, places to eat, a uh, park, a lot of parking here, and also places to listen to music. So I'm going to be driving by some of them, and they're all here, and you're going to find out I've been to many, many of these restaurants, almost all of them, and the ones that we're not showing. I've been to quite a few of these restaurants and stores, and I shop in all the towns I go to, and I spend a lot of time, even when I'm not on YouTube. I'm spending a lot of time in all of the lakeside towns and beyond, and uh, other towns I go to in Mexico. Okay, a little view here. This is a drive that's alongside the Milicon. It is Avenue Ramon Corona, and uh, there is the Milicon this way. We're going to show you a little more when I get up here, just in a few seconds. Hang with me, beautiful here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful mountains. You can see the mountains straight ahead in the center of the frame. And the good thing about parking here is there's men that'll wave you in and out and they'll help you back in and out of the apartments. I mean, excuse me, back in and out of the parking spaces. I thought that was a sign for an apartment, but it's not. Uh, so we got kind of off track there. But people do live in the town of Chapala. A lot of expats have done hundreds of videos just in or about Chapala itself. A lot of interviews with expats and Mexican residents here in Chapala. Here is Lake Chapala, right there. And we're going to come this way. We're in downtown in Central. A lot of places to use the restroom. Right there, there's the big parochia. There's a lot of those Oxo stores, you're going to see them. A lot of restaurants here, music venues. I recorded music videos all around here. So, different places. They're doing a lot of construction here in the town of Chapala. A lot of new development, and there is all over Lakeside, but Chapala is really doing it up. They are really uh, doing a lot of new development here, uh, creating a lot of new development. Here's the main plaza in Chapala. Once again, look in the backlog of videos that I put up, and you'll find a lot of videos here in the town of Chapala. Okay. Uh, go to this channel's history of 
videos, tap on that word videos. Once you get to the channel, and you'll see a lot of them. So, work. Now, the highway, they've got it reconstructed a little bit. This is Francisco Madera Avenue. Now, this is the main avenue going to, through, this beautiful town of Chippewa. You're going to have a lot of stores, ice cream stores, markets here, shops, small markets, tiendas, uh, which are like mom and pop stores we used to have up in the U.S. And also you're going to have bigger markets too. And then you're going to have also department stores around here. I've covered those before. Bigger markets. And uh, there's a lot of new construction going on. So they're redoing the roads here. And it's just absolutely beautiful. The people get around pretty good. You can see the flow of traffic is good. Even though half of the highway is being worked on, the traffic is pretty good. It's uh, not gridlock. You want to be experiencing gridlock here. So, see, I'm driving through here, and this is a busy day too, so you're not experiencing gridlock here. You're going to see turn buses over here in the town of Chippewa. Coming up on the bus terminal, which is right here. Bus station, bus terminal, get buses all right all over Chippewa, all over the lakeside towns, uh, access to different cities all over, uh, even outside of Lakeside, you're going to find the buses there. Also, direct buses to many places, very inexpensive. Okay, there's a lot of restaurants here, as I mentioned, I've been to many of them, many of them. Here's the big department store and a bank. And we passed up Capel. I've done videos there. Uh, Capel is found also in Electra's. Those department stores are found all over Mexico. In many of the places I've been, i found those two department stores. They are great to shop in. We're going to have a lot of uh, gas stations. Okay. Restaurants. I'm going to make a right here, take you through a little bit of a residential, more of a residential area. Beautiful down here in downtown Chippewa. This is the north end, but there's a lot more to come. Chippewa is actually a very big town. And this is a really nice neighborhood here too. Uh, primarily a neck Mexican neighborhood. But there are a few expats, but they live right here in this area. Now, there are expats, they're sprinkled all over the town of Chapala. You're going to find it very nice here. Zoxo stores all over Mexico and here in all the lakeside towns. They're open 24 hours, as well as the Guadalajara pharmacies you're going to find here in Chapala and all the other lakeside towns. There's many of them. See some signs there. And car washes will be up here. You can take your, bring your car to get it fixed. I was up here in Chapala. I, uh, when I had the other car, the tra the tracker, I had a light uh, put on somewhere down here. And also, um, I needed a new tire. And uh, I went and got a tire here from the Goodyear shop. Very good one that. Got my car washed here before. Done a lot of things here. And shopped here. I went to markets. I'm going to show you where the Soriana store is. More pharmacies. And once again, when you see a Guadalajara pharmacy, they're open 24 hours. So, for instance, you run out of milk and you get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, hey, go to a Guadalajara pharmacy. You'll be able to get milk or whatever you want. Okay. Going here, it's a big supermarket chain, Soriana. Here's one of their stores. Great place to shop. I shopped here for groceries. Did videos over here. 
But I didn't do a video inside the store, of course. Yeah, it's a nice store. You find a lot of products here. Some products you find from the U.S. Here, show me. This place is now open. The big Domino's here. There is a Domino's in San Antonio, which is right next to Ahihi. But uh, I did a video about this, just showing you before it opened. And I'm gonna go left here. So Chapala is a beautiful town. I mean, the north end of downtown and uh, now getting into residential neighborhoods. So uh, there's some mountains there. Lake Chapala is behind us and it's actually over to the right this way. So tap on that note. Let's go through this Mexican neighborhood here give you another little view. Now this one has a lot of cobblestones in the street. But a lot of the town uh, streets in Chapala are a lot wider and easier to park, very easy to park, and uh, you're going to find smoother roads. Just this one is, look at those beautiful homes here. And jump out. Okay, so with that, I'm going to say thanks for viewing and tap on that notification bell and you'll be notified of upcoming videos. And this is just a small part of this beautiful town of Chapala here in Jalisco, Mexico. Thanks for viewing. Tap on that notification bell. You'll be notified of upcoming videos. Thanks for viewing.